you said? No. You can't bring these kids anywhere. You can't. John Castle is here to talk entertainment. His phone's going off. You're always working. Uh, I think it was my pacemaker. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> well, we got a lot going on in the uh, entertainment world. Lots to talk about. You're always right. running from place to place. Uh, One of the things you said, uh, Jerry Lewis's of uh, Las Vegas home still up for sale, and I thought that it had sold, but you explained in your article yes. how it all went now, down. Now, you remember over Memorial Day weekend, they mm -hmm. had that uh, open auction. We explained all that, uh, how the memorabilia yep. and all the artifacts were not necessarily his. We explained all that. Well, they were they did an auction of the home itself mm -hmm. that he used to own. Jane Popple is a seller. She's uh, she hired a, an auction house to, to run this thing, and somebody threw out a bid of 2.5 million. That bid uh, never went anywhere. Never went out outside that auction. It was not uh, the the seller. Uh, the pr prospective buyer apparently didn't have the financial wherewithal to follow through on the bid. So now you can have this home for 1.6 million. It came in at 1.8 million. It's still on the market regardless of that bid. So Jerry Lewis home that whole auction thing did not sell the home and wow. still listed on uh, on all these real estate. I always sites. thought about that when I go to these big auctions. Like, can you just raise your hand and say, "Yeah, I'll take it," and then walk away and nothing happens? But it seems like Evidently, that's what happened. Evidently, yeah. <laughs> Evidently, you can do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know if there was any ill intent there, but mm -hmm. um, you can you can uh, present a bid, but you have to qualify to uh, and and present a cashier's check to mm -hmm. cover some of your your bid, and that's where things apparently came unraveled. But yeah. um, we're, I'm still looking into how that bid happened and all that, that whole thing because uh, I have video of it. I can't make out who made it, but it's an interesting, okay. uh, more more intrigue at the uh, former Jerry Lewis Still home. Still on the market. Yeah, you and I have both been by there at mm -hmm. different times. A beautiful home. So yeah, it's, it's a, nice. Oh, yeah, historic. Might be a steal at 1.6 point six. All right, Tony Bennett coming back to Las Vegas. Now, he's been popping up with Lady Gaga, but now he's doing his own show over at the Venetian Theater, right? Yep, there are the dates, uh, September 25th, 27th, and 28th at the Venetian Theater. Now, this is interesting. You know, the last time we saw him was in June with Lady Gaga, and, and uh, he did a couple of songs with her in her jazz and piano show at the Park Theater. Tony Bennett, uh, the, the uh, show is called I Left My Heart in Las Vegas. Hmm. And the first time he ever sang I Left My Heart in San Francisco was at the Venetian Room at the Fairmont Hotel in December 28, 1961. A, a reader had reminded me of that and I looked into it. So he's going from the Venetian in, <laughs> Room in San Francisco at the Fairmont to the Venetian in Las Vegas, still singing that song okay. since 1961. And he can still bring it, man. He is. Yeah. He's exciting, you know. Nine, he'll be 93 by the time this this thing starts at the Venetian, and he can still sing. Really? His his vocal exercises are too much for for professional singers to even do the, that way. So really, it's pretty incredible. Yeah, yeah. he, he mm -hmm. really is Las Vegas. So mm -hmm. That's for sure. Yeah, he loves it here. All right, uh, Pawn Stars, they're going to the Strip. Well, at least Rick Harrison mm -hmm. is right open a store, and you talked about this before, the Canal Shops? Yeah, the Grand Canal Shops, shops it's on the second floor, uh, just off the uh, St. Mark's Square on the Venetian side. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's called Rick's Collection. And it will probably be open around mid-September, no later than that, as I understand it right now. The plan is for, for it to be open by then. And this is this was originally going to be uh, put into Pond Plaza next to the uh, Gold and Silver Pond, and they decided to move it into the Venetian and take over an, an unoccupied space so they could sell some of the more interesting items out of Gold and Silver Pond that you have seen on the TV show at a strip resort. And Rick, it really wants to reach a different kind of audience and a different clientele who aren't maybe the people who are hanging out in front of Gold and Silver Pond uh, on Las Vegas Boulevard. Mm -hmm. So that's that's yeah, it interesting. It's going to be a lot of antiques, a lot of his rock and roll collection. He's got a lot of really cool rock and roll memorabilia, jewelry, you know that kind of stuff. So he likes to connect, collect sneakers too. Yeah, he, sneaker collection. He's got a pretty <laughs> interesting collection of old photos and photo negatives that I'm going to be writing about too. That oh. is is very interesting. He's got some very valuable photo negatives in his possession. Yeah, I'll, I'll tease to that. Okay, really interesting. I think that he'll do well with that shop. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Uh, real quick, want to go over this. You were at this. Uh, keep memory alive. Celebration. You were saying yes. Mark Davis? Yes. yes, Mark Davis. What yeah, happened there? there, there. That's, him, that's him in the suit there. Yeah. Mark Davis of the Raiders. Now what happened? We, we had a uh, an anniversary event for the Keep Memory Alive, uh, the Cleveland Clinic Lou Ruvo Center for Brain Health that was mm -hmm. sponsored by the Keep Memory Alive. Um, that's a philanthropic organization. It was in the uh, uh, Keep Memory Alive event center and we had a, an anniversary mm -hmm presentation and introduced a bunch of people. And Mark Davis, there are the Raiders, donated $25,000 to the clinic to kick off its 11th year. And it was a great day. And uh, okay. the clinic continues to need and uh, develop support. Got it. Read more in the column. We're taking a break.